that make up the, the actual letters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name. Look at these letters. Alif, Lam, Lam, Ha. Allah. Allah. It begins with a Hamza, which is at the deepest articulation of the throat. And this is where the, 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 the name of Allah is emanating from the, the point in which human vocalization is possible. It's coming from the depths of the, of the vocal tract. And you say Allah, and it goes back to the Ha, which is at the deepest uh, of the, 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 these are called Huruf al halq the, 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 the ha, ha and Hamza, right? That's an Aqsa al halq And so it begins in the Aqsa al halq in the, in the depths of the throat, and it returns to the depths of the throat. But in the midst of it, you have a letter which is in the Jawf or the Lisan. Allah, Allah. And this is something incredible because one of the things in the Greek language, lulen is a Greek word and it means to soothe or comfort because it's been recognized throughout history that the, uh, the la sound is a soothing and comforting sound for children and that's where you get lullaby and you get la la like this is something mothers will do to their children la 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 like this why because it's a soothing sound it actually brings a type of sakina to the heart and so the name of allah is something that actually brings a tranquility to the human being when they say it allah in the Taoist tradition they have a, what they call the universal meditation is based on putting the tongue at the roof of the mouth and doing that several times. La, 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 like that. Because they believe that connects all of the meridian channels in the body. They actually do that as a practice. When you say, La ilaha illallah, it's amazing that Allah has made those sounds. Anybody can say those sounds. Look at La ilaha illallah. You have La ilaha illallah, four words comprised entirely of three letters alif lam and ha what does alif lam ha spell ilahun and what are you saying la ilaha illallah there's no ilahun except allah and you're doing it with the letters that comprise the name of allah this is something incredible who thought of this do you think a human being worked all of these things out do you think the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam worked all these things out Let's see, what, what can I make a, a, a wording that would use all the letters of... This, this is not possible. You see, this is where you begin to realize this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.